Hey everyone, this is Jason at Full Spectrum Power. Let's talk about 24 volt start. Started in the drag race world, uh, has now become popular in the UTV world. Um, there are certainly cases where people like to use 24 volt. So let's try and give a brief explanation of how to select product for a 24 volt start system. First, uh, if this is not obvious, you do not use a 24 volt battery. Rather, you use two uh, 12 volt batteries. Of course, in the case of lithium, they're actually 13 volt. But you use two of these batteries, uh, one of them as the primary battery and one of them as the trigger battery to put the bike into 24 volt only for the start event, which lasts one or two seconds. Now, when choosing these batteries, here's something that's very important to understand. With our batteries, you must specify that you need the race version of the battery as opposed to the street version. The reason for that is that our battery management system, which has protection for over voltage and under voltage and all of these other things, will see that 24 volt event as a fault and it will shut the battery down. So you will not be able to use our street battery with the BMS if you plan on using a 24 volt start system in your vehicle, period, end of story. So let's use this chart here taken from our friends at Schnitz Racing. Uh, you can find a copy of this document on their website. I think we can make this available on our website as well. What you have is, in this particular case, existing battery. That should be something large, lots of capacity, super strong. In this case, 720 cranking amps of P10. Uh, then for the second battery, we use something small like this P1. This is the smallest and least powerful battery that we offer. You do not want to use two big badass batteries when putting this into 24 volt. It tends to damage the cells when you use two large batteries. We strongly recommend using the 24 volt trigger battery as a very small one and then a larger battery as your primary or what it says on this one as existing. Um, and if you follow this chart and use these, you know, very basic battery suggestions, this will work fine for years. One caveat, because of the, this configuration, the small battery, the 24 volt trigger, does not get recharged by your charging system. You will need to charge this battery separately using a lithium battery charger. So, you know, it, how often that is the case will really depend on how often you're starting your bike, but be aware that you will need to charge the second battery using a lithium specific charger or else it'll wind up going dead and that would be bad. All of this information is available at fullspectrumpower.com uh, or feel free to send us an email or give us a call at the shop and we're happy to talk you through this.